operate at a 75% capacity, but not everyone is doing that. Local 23's Jelani Martinez spoke with some owners asking if they're willing to serve more people despite COVID-19 concerns. So with 75%, I feel we're going to get uh, a great response from the community. Frank Macias, owner of Frankie Flaves, waited to offer dine-in options once restaurants were given the green light to operate at 50% capacity. After this past weekend, uh, you know, I think things are starting to look uh, almost back to normal. Uh, and the business wise. Despite there being a spike in COVID-19 cases, Macias says they're moving forward with serving more people. People are starting to come out to, to dine and, and uh, you know, uh, they feel more comfortable now that they see that restaurants are taking that extra precaution to keep it more sanitary. Even though the capacity limit has increased to 75%, Chef Raquel Rivera of Bonomia is sticking to take out orders. There's nothing showing that um, this is going to end soon, so we just feel like if we open, we're going to be part of increasing those numbers. So it's uh, obviously, like I said, a very hard decision because it doesn't benefit us, but we're working really hard. Rivera doesn't know when she'll open her dining room, but says her pastries have helped in staying afloat. Because it's something that you can take to go with coffees, and now that people are going into their offices, they're ordering more uh, lunch specials. In Harlingen and McAllen, Jelani Martinez, Local 23 News. As part of the expansion to capacity levels, restaurants can also maximize table size from 6 to 10 people.